Good afternoon from the CBS 19 Newsroom. I'm Jillian Sheridan. And I'm Mike Landis. A nurse in Dallas is diagnosed with Ebola. Nina Pham, the first person to contract the virus in the United States. The 26-year-old became infected while treating Thomas Eric Duncan, the first Ebola patient to die in the U.S. Officials have called for calm, saying the Pham's infection was the result of a breach of protocol. Heavy storms moved through East Texas early this morning, causing extensive damage to property in Mount Vernon. Several businesses along I-30 hit by a possible tornado. The National Weather Service expected to survey the damage and determine whether it was caused by straight-line winds or a tornado. And in Franklin County, the driver of an 18-wheeler injured when his truck overturned from the strong winds. Crews still working to restore power after storms last night and this morning in East Texas. Harmony ISD canceling classes. They'll be back tomorrow. No electricity there and two other District started late because of it. And lightning likely to be the cause of a large oil fire in Longview this morning. Dozens of people evacuated from homes and businesses. They've now been allowed back in, but H.G. Mosley is still closed. An armed robbery this morning at the Minute Stop convenience store on Highway 64 in West Smith County. Now, a worker is reported being robbed at gunpoint. The suspect fleeing the scene with cash. For details on the robber's description, you, uh, description I say, you can actually head to CBS 19 TV. All that coming up tonight on CBS 19 News at 5 and 6. The latest anytime online at CBS19.tv.